My name is Tina Escaja, and we are here today in the exhibition at uh, the Flint Dog Gallery, an exhibition that is collective and is under the title of uh, Messages from the Anthropocene. This particular segment, my segment, is called Mar y Virus, Virus and the Sea, and it started, of course, with a poem. And the poem, as you see in this banner, is uh, a poem that talks about the concept of the relation of the virus, the COVID-19 virus, with the genetic code that all humans have in relation to previous um, epidemics, uh, previous viruses that also are part of the configuration of the original element, which is the sea. So this is a poem that I call an oleatory poem because ola means um, wave in Spanish too. So there is a continuous balance of waves in terms of the different possibilities of interaction that, did, that this um, installation provides. So what I'm going to do is to show some of those layers of interaction. Uh, so if you come with me, so you see here the, uh, the viruses that have been uh, overpopulating this space, going beyond the margins and the frame of this um, segment of the Flindo Gallery. So if you come here, for example, you have the sound of the sea, that it has sensors that recognize the human movement, and you have several ways of establishing interactions through, for example, QR codes. So uh, here in the QR codes, you have one of the main QR codes, which is this one. And this QR code takes you to the, what I call oleatory poem, which is a generative poem where the lines of the poem continues, continuously re-establish themselves. So this is one of the interactive oleatory, aleatory options. Other interactive options, options is something that I have around Burlington, Vermont, which is a QR code where you are invited to share your story. Uh, so it will take you to a program where you can record yourself talking about what represents, how represents, uh, how, um, how is your relation with the COVID-19 experience. So again, it's a form of interaction and connection. I'm going to turn it off. Huh? Another level of interaction is that there is some components here with, with, that are signaled with a red, red dot, where it takes you to a uh, augmented reality element. And the augmented reality, again, is a form of interaction through technology without touching, because my idea always of my installations is interaction by touching, but considering the, look, the, the uh, social distance, the technology allows us to go to different elements without ne the necessity of touching. So here is an augmented reality, here is the QR codes. I could show you the augmented reality component. Using, a, using the bleep, up, bleep, up, um, bleep up app, which is an augmented reality app, and using your phone, you can scan, you can scan the, um, the elements that are being highlighted, and then you have other levels of interaction and experience of this project. In this case, there is a video based on the Mar e virus concept. So here you can listen to Christine Dijkstra, who is a translator of this poem through the uh, Blipar app. Virus of the sea. Residues we are, they say, of ancient germs. Of archaic plagues that could either take us in or raise defenses from some historical specter. From imagery of the dead in medieval canvases. And here you can have the, um, the, the different, um, um, if you, if you um, activate this barcode, no, this barcode, see, if you activate these barcodes, you'll be able to leave your uh, story in this, in this platform. 
So another level of interaction is through these different ways, different opportunities to, to, um, to have a reflection about the impact of COVID-19 in our lives. These are two uh, file cabinets that frame the, the, um, frame the installation. This one in particular is a feminist manifesto in times of coronavirus, a feminist manifesto against the Anthropocene, which is the impact of the human species in the environment. So I'm just suggesting uh, with this QR code a, ref a reframing of that Anthropocene and that impact by uh, an alternative into the gynecine, huh? into the, the female. Uh, so also this is kind of an homage to a group, an absurdist group, performance group called Bur um, Feminists Against BS, based here in Burlington, Vermont. I, I'm the co-founder with uh, Lori Essick and also we have Lindsay London and we did several um, performances over the years here in Vermont. But let me, let me show you what you can find within those file cabinets, what is archived here. One of archives, one of the files presents different alternatives to the paradigm, to the Anthropocene, anthropocentric paradigm by women that have been externally important in the history to establish that change, that alternative. You want to From, some of those up? Yes, absolutely. For example, we have here uh, Clara Campomor, who was uh, very important for, uh, for giving the, the vote for women in Spain, but we also have other presences very well known that have changed the way that uh, the normative masculinist uh, presence has been determining the way we understand history, literature, the canons, the different canons. And here, down here, I have artifacts related to one of the um, performances that we did as um, Feminist Against BS. And as you see, we are detoxifying uh, some components of, of that toxicity like, um, like the toxic masculinity of homophobia, transphobia, etc. So this is a performance we did a few years ago and I wanted to pay homage to that uh, performance and that alternative. So if you go to this segment, here is the other file cabinet. This file cabinet, like the, the one that we just um, mentioned, is also an homage to my friend Bren Alvarez, who created right here this monument to bureaucracy uh, with a tower of file cabinets. And she also, Bren Alvarez, has here in this space an inside out representation of that file cabinet through a tower made with papers. So here we have another file cabinet, and file cabinet beams. Uh, artifacts that contain human experience, an uh, archive. So the, what is archived in this particular one are elements and artifacts related to the COVID-19 experience, collective experience. So if we open here, you see things that you can find around in relation to the COVID-19, like uh, the ubiquitous um, uh, masks, and, and also gloves, uh, latex uh, gloves. And here, what I have is I created a projection of the video Marie Virus as another level of experiencing that, uh, that um, initial poem that is the, the genesis of the whole project. So this is this, this other level of interaction, as I said before, goes beyond because I'm, I'm like breaking the boundaries and the limits which is part of the whole concept of my own work but also of the virus that insidious or imposing around any limit and any uh, configuration, traditional configuration. I went beyond this space and I went all over Burlington, Vermont, but not only Burlington, Vermont, I'm sending QR codes asking requesting and inviting people to tell their stories in other countries like Mexico and in Spain. And the idea is to have this opportunity of explaining ourselves within that moment that is so pervasive and so uh, historic. Uh, so this is kind of 
of course, also I'm doing a CAPTCHA poem and other different tentacular possibilities for uh, the uh, representation of COVID-19 in our era. Thank you. <laughs>